My name is Christoph Kostovich. I'm the Chief Information Officer for Enumerate. The problems we were experiencing before identifying and moving to test rigor were a lot of manual processes. So we had a traditional team, I would say, to QA that you come into, which is support people that have worked for the company for a while, know the product really well. They want to transition in their career to something different. They go into QA. They know their own product. They can write test cases, and they can basically do lots of manual testing. It's slow, it's cumbersome, and it depends on a lot of knowledge and skill. And that's where we were at the beginning. Once we started understanding that's not the best way, it's, it is complex. It's tiring, not efficient, but also it doesn't capture the defects in the process you need quick enough. So we started looking at additional options. Of course, you know, some of the traditional options that come up is Selenium, doing building out a QA and automation team, writing and developing test scripts in Selenium all day long, modifying them and trying to maintain them and keep them updated. That really didn't interest me. Uh, as a whole, I really wanted to look at a more automated process, a more AI-driven approach, and that's kind of where it comes to test rigor. What I liked about test rigor is they gave us the software and said, hey, by the way, we can give you a resource. Who knows test rigor and kind of help get you kick-started on that for a year. And so even with all of that, less than an automation engineer that knows Selenium, so it was quick, easy to be able to say, yes, that person was able to help train the team, help guide the team. More importantly, you know, write the test cases themselves and gave us a real quick kick start in getting that done. And then it kind of snowballed, right? You have X 10% of the test cases there. The team is now able to do 10% less or maybe not a quite equivalent, but, and they can start taking some of that time learned and build out more test cases in test rigor. And it just keeps snowballing. And then that also allowed us to hire on an automation engineer that just kind of knows traditionally how you want to do things and kind of guide us down that mechanism since we didn't have that in-house. And so now that we've put that team together just over a year, it's really just starting to click in. And I can say for the first time in this last couple sprints, the QA team actually had less work to do than the develop team could offer. So now they're having some time where their time is being spent. How do we build out more test cases? How do we do more? And it's now coming to the point of, you know, really snowballing to be able to get a huge amount of automation in there and less amount of manual testing.